Tharp, I play bass for Between the Witches. I'm Bob Smirkansky, I play guitar. I'm Anthony Cusichern, I play guitar as well. Uh, God, I've been on a lot. Yeah, you uh, The Resistance, Minkus, The Devotees, O Empire, Panzer Talk, Bat Lion, uh, Cotton Mouth, and a bunch of other little fill-in gigs here and there with random Irish band on folk acts and stuff. And there's probably about 15 bands I forgot about in there. Those are the big ones. <laughs> and I played in Braille from 2006 up until like last year. We just kind of do whatever we want. That's the kind of the only role we've had. Whatever we feel like playing, that's what we're gonna do. So it's really hard to loop pull us into one thing. Yeah, I, f I feel like nice. the the majority of our songs have a decent amount of energy behind them, even if they're like slower paced. Um, it's hard to try and figure out who you sound like, you know, to make that sort of comparison. I, I don't, I'm not super keen on doing that. Um, I have plenty of time to choose any time possible. Yeah. That's, that's fine. Agreed. Well, we used to play phone numbers. Yeah. Uh, um, we just use our old, like, 755-5724. Like, you know, we just, who what's your phone number? We got, like, <laughs> tired of just playing in like normal time signatures and just decided to experiment and like branch out and figure out how to do some different things and what sounds cool and what doesn't. A lot, yeah, a lot of the time we were just taking random strings and numbers. Just <laughs> like, okay, we'll play this, this, and this. Yeah. And That's over 10 years ago. Yeah. That we started that. <clears throat> I don't feel. I feel like I've never stopped doing that. Yeah. Like I've never, <laughs> right, right. I've never not played an odd time signatures. <laughs> for me, it does for sure. I've been in so many four four bands that yeah, this was definitely a big struggle. When I first started jamming with these guys to figure out what the heck they were doing. Like and the first practice, I was like, challenge accepted. I'm in. <laughs> but definitely, I definitely struggled at first to keep up with these guys because of the odd time signature changes. I uh, I just like the way that uh, that it makes the like whatever phrase you're playing sound the second time around. Like it'll change it like just a little bit, like enough to where it sounds kind of different. And I, I think that that's a cool idea. And being able to like string a bunch of things together that sound like that is uh, I don't know, like the epitome of like what I'm trying to do at least. Oh wow. Um. I mean, every band that I've played with, in specific, since I have been probably the one that's played with the most different bands, influenced the way I play, so I'll say that. Every new group of musicians has challenged me to do something different and get better. Every every band I've joined has sounded completely different than the last one. So, I mean, that, that terms, and I mean, the trends that were going on at the time with the other bands we were playing with, those influenced us down in different ways, too. So, I mean, depending on what time period I was in, I was playing with, you know, four or five different other bands. We played all kinds of shows together and it would influence the way we sounded. So many different bands around, you just try to pick up, you know, try to learn something from everybody. Really, you know, like, oh, you're doing that's cool. That's cool for me. I think for me, looking at it more like playing out live wise, um, sometimes it's like you, you try to like put as much energy as you can into it and I hope that the crowd like reciprocates and then other times I don't know at least for me I don't I can't speak for anybody else but um, it's it's not like that <laughs> I, d I don't have like that sort of uh, confidence or whatever my role in the band has been mostly I've been listening to a lot of, like King Crimson and like Yes and Zappa Animals as Leaders Chon things like that Taras Milos Really kind of figure out how those guys play and stuff like this because like, when I first came in, as I said, I was playing straightforward pop stuff pretty much or like Sabbathy style metal. So it was like, how did those bass players play to figure out what to do with these guys? Yeah, a lot of prog and math rock, like whatever. I mean, anybody that's pushing music, I'm probably interested. I'm all over the place. Um, listen to a bunch of different. Uh, I, I've started more to look internally for uh, inspiration rather than externally. So 
it's hard to like I don't want to be like saying these bands these bands whatever as for me it's more like finding whatever internal struggles going on 